To find the oxidation numbers for each element in Na2O2, that's sodium peroxide, we have these rules here. So this is an interesting one because oxygen has a bit of a non-standard oxidation number here. If we look at Na2O2, it's a neutral compound. It's neutral because there's no plus or minus up here. So all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. And we'll need that to find the oxidation numbers for sodium peroxide. Sodium's in group one on the periodic table. In group one, it has a plus one oxidation number. Oxygen, we normally think of it being minus two, having an oxidation number of minus two, and most of the time it is, except when it's bonded to peroxides, and this is sodium peroxide. So let's figure out the oxidation number here on the oxygen based on what we have for the sodium. Let's call oxygen X, let's set a little equation up. We could say we have two sodium atoms, each one's plus one, plus we have two oxygen atoms, and we don't know what those are, and that's all gonna add up to zero because it's a neutral compound. So we would have two plus two X equals zero, two X equals a negative two, divide both sides by two, and X will equal minus one. So the oxidation number on each one of those oxygens here in Na2O2, that's gonna be minus one. So those are the oxidation numbers for sodium peroxide, Na2O2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.